Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Before I start, I just wanted to let you guys know that I created an Amazon affiliate store and I only added tools that I currently use in my shop. I also added comments to each item so that you can quickly read about what I think of the tool and also what I use the tool for. So when you purchase items from my Amazon store, I receive a small percentage of the sale from Amazon and you don't pay any additional amount. So by doing this, you're helping to support what I do here at Garage Woodworks. And you'll find a link to my Amazon store in the description of the video. My wife asked me if I would make a picture frame for a desk at work that would hold two pictures. To pull this off, I'm using a center divider that will be half-lapped into the frame to separate the two pictures. Let's go. I have the picture frame temporarily clamped together, and because this picture frame is gonna hold two pictures, I need to have a center divider going down the middle of the picture frame, and that's what I'm gonna use this cutoff for. I need to resaw this center divider so that its thickness is equal to this thickness here, which is what's left over on the inside of the frame after removing all of this material from the rabbit. Now I just need to chop out the other side of this half flap on the frame and I can glue this together.
My wife is gonna use this frame at work on her desk and she wants it to be able to stand up on its own. So I'm gonna attach two feet on the back, one on each side, and I think I'm just gonna attach the feet with dowels. I cut the ends of both feet to 20 degrees in order for them to support the frame at an angle. So that means that I need to make the holes for the quarter inch dowels also come in at 20 degrees. And the easiest way to do that in my shop is to use my horizontal mortiser. I used a dowel center to help me locate the hole that's gonna be placed in the frame. And I've already done that, now I can just take this over to the drill press and drill a quarter inch hole. I've got the glass inserted and two pictures of my kids. And then on top of the pictures, I have a piece of black cardboard. Now to hold everything down, I'm gonna use these little metal clips, which are called points. And I'm gonna sink the points into the frame using a fitting tool. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can get one of these by visiting my Amazon affiliate store. And you'll see a link in the description of this video. So that's all I have. Please consider supporting what I do here through Patreon and also check out my new Amazon affiliate store. You'll find links to both of them in the first comment below and also in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.